Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be going over what we did last time. We were having, well, I was having issues with this status. We were able to patch and update the status drop down. But when we did that, it wasn't really binding to the drop down. So I had to go on Power Apps Community and figure out and I did get a solution. It partially worked, so I tweaked it a little bit and then it worked. So if you remember, here's our SharePoint list. Here's our employment status column. And if you come in here and, you know, let's say it's active, as you can see, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't stick. So the Power Apps community, they said to just, I just needed to add in the default and say this item dot employment status oh dot value now this kind of worked let's see so if I do this and I come in here and I do this see how it made all those active and that's not what I wanted so what I did to tweak that was, um, and let's see, I think it did update all the columns. Let's come in here. Let me refresh the page. Go over here. Oops. Yeah, it didn't even update everything. So what I did was I came here and I just did an if statement and I just said, if, oh, what's going on? Okay, I just said if is blank if is blank then make sure leave it blank and then else just return the value that is there in the SharePoint list. And there you go. So now we have, now all our columns are not populated with active um, when it doesn't have a value. So let me save this. So let's test this out. Come here, let me just change this to inactive. Okay. Let's change this bottom one to inactive as well. Let's go to our SharePoint list. Let's refresh. Oh, it, it came up too. There you have it, active, inactive, inactive. Okay, good, so that worked. So let's see, what else do we need to do to our list? So let's go ahead and add, we're gonna add a search box and then we're gonna add a counter account up here where it counts how many active and then how many inactive. Um, you can probably put that anywhere, but I'm gonna put it here just for example purposes. So let's first add our, let's first add a label here, add a label. And here's our label. Bring this down a little bit. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, matter of fact, we can make it as wide as our status and put this back up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna say, we're gonna say active. And Okay, active. Sorry about that, I was making sure my microphone worked. So active, and then we're gonna count. Well, I like to do this first, let's filter first. So we're gonna filter. So we wanna filter our, what is it called? Our employee onboarding, comma, where our employee, oops, employee no nope. employee where is it at oh 
Oh, I spelled it wrong. Employment, not employee. Employment. Okay, employment status. Dot value. Okay, employment status. That value. And matter of fact, did that wrong. So we're gonna say where. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I think that was right. Yeah, that's right. So we say that, and then we're going to say um, equal to active. Now, we couldn't use the, this item here only because we're not actually in the gallery. We're outside the gallery. So now we're going to go wrap this in account because this text property is expecting like text so we're gonna say account rows okay so this is just complaining that it may not work in large data sets so there's our active so now let's do the same thing for inactive so let's do this and do this. And then we're going to say inactive and then ampersand. And let's just copy this copy paste. And we're going to change this to inactive. Okay. And there you have it. Active three, inactive two. Let's... Okay, so let's see what happens. So if I come here and let's say I change this to inactive, see how that jumped to three? And let's change this to active. And that jumps to four, so that's good. Okay, so now let's go and add our search box. So we're gonna come here and text input. Okay, and we're gonna put have a hint in here called search. So our hint text. Let's say search. And let's give that. Let's see. Oops. Okay. There is a search. So let's give this a padding. Our left. Let's say maybe 25. Uh, that may be too much. Okay. So now let's come in here. Let's grab an icon. Where's the. Uh, there you go. Search. And let's put this in here like this. Um, let's give it a little bit more. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So search. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come to our gallery. Let's move this up just a little bit. There you go. We're going to come to our gallery and right in here, this is where we're going to apply our search. So we're going to say search the employee on board and search. And then we're going to say comma. And so that's the source. Now it's looking for text and our text is let's name this. Give this a name. Actually, let's call this search input. Oh, this search box. There you go. Okay. Let's come back, come back to our gallery. 
So let's say search box, search box dot text. All right. Now, the next thing is the columns that we want to search. So let's search through the employee ID and first name. So let's go employee. Let's do this. And let's do last name. And I think, I believe I called my employee ID was actually title. Um, yeah, I changed the display name of title to employee ID in SharePoint list, but this uses the internal name. It looks for the internal name, so this should work. So let's test this out. Yep, there you go, Bruce. And if I say, um, you know, let's search for this VB, there you go. And what if I did Doe? Woman. Yep, it works. Okay. So in this video, we worked on the inactive, on the statuses, uh, we worked in the search. So we're coming along quite a bit. So I think now in our next video, we're going to talk about um, access to this because we don't want anybody who gets a link to this to have access to this. So what we need to do is we need to work on that part uh, where if somebody gets this link that is not an admin, they should get a, you cannot access this or something. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you hope it made sense. Please leave any comments below if you have any. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.